What's up? Mason here on the Synthetic Channel. This time it's going to be episode 2 of What You Think. This video is going to feature the polls and posts that I like to do in my channel community tab. I spent a bit more time on this one than I did on episode 1, so let me know what you think about it, and let's get into it. Which of these classic dime bag guitar finishes do you think is the coolest? I would probably take the slime or burst, to be honest. Surprised the Dymo Flame isn't on here, which I am lucky enough to have. The Dean from Hell is too iconic to not pick. The Fortnite one. Fortnite. I should have expected this, but obviously the Dean from Hell is on top with 57% of the vote. The other three are all pretty much around the same, but this comment right here is what I should have done. Out of those, it's the slime for me, but Loki is coolest ML was the Primal Concrete Sledge ML. This poll might have been a little more close if I had done that. I love the slime. Such a bold and unique finish. Which of these movies has the best soundtrack? Shrek's soundtrack is underrated. The Star Wars soundtrack was all inspired by 2001 A Space Odyssey. Well, everything about Star Wars was. And it's Star Wars coming in with a 42%, followed by Shrek at 24, Jurassic Park at 19, and 2001 A Space Odyssey at 14%. If I could pick on my own polls, I would have voted for Star Wars. What's your favorite Aussie era? Taking my beers away from my room. I don't think so, darling. Uh... Black Sabbath all day, baby. The reason I like the 90s era of Ozzy is the drums and guitar sound. Overall, those records were mixed very good. Ozzy is my least favorite part of all the music he has made. And it's the Madman years coming out on top. If I could vote on my own polls, this is the one I would have voted for. There's so many good riffs from this era, with guitarists like Jakey e. Lee and Randy Rhodes. All of the records from this era have influenced my guitar playing in some way or another. Ozzy's first two solo albums are nothing short of legendary. His Sabbath days are really close though. His TV days made him look like a buffoon. I know that was the point, but still. I would say Black Sabbath and the Madman years, although I really liked that Perry Mason song. You can only watch one of these shows. Which would it be? This was supposed to be you can only ever watch one of these shows, but I messed up there. I would go insane after hearing Texan accent in King of the Hill, plus it don't got too many episodes. South Park or King of the Hill for me, probably South Park. Can't stand the Texan accent, but King of the Hill is still a pretty good show. This poll could have had different shows on it, but these are the four adult animated shows that I have watched the most. And it's Family Guy coming out on top with a 41%, closely trailed by South Park with a 34%, King of the Hill and Futurama both at 12%. If I could have voted on this poll, I would have voted for South Park. And if South Park wasn't on here, it would have been Family Guy. The Simpsons! Oh, jeez, I forgot about The Simpsons. 
Futurama is underrated. I agree. Futurama is underrated. Every time I watch it, I'm enjoying it. Do you like Taylor Swift? Yes or no? This poll has to be 1% yes, 99% no, ASAP. What's to like? That's right, 88% said no. We don't like Taylor Swift up in here. This poll wasn't my idea. My girlfriend gave me the idea and she absolutely loves Taylor Swift and I can't stand it. Who the fuck said yes? Metallica and other metal bands are much better. I like Britney Spears. Her music is very mid, and honestly, I don't think she likes being shown all the time in the NFL. Very, very mid. Now, I'm a metal guy and a heavy music listener, for the most part. But for anyone to say they don't like Taylor, especially knowing damn well none of you know her personally, is narrow-minded. She's a fellow musician and gives huge donations to needy people, plus many other philanthropic acts of kindness. So to say you don't like her is ridiculous. What has she done to any of you? Same as you can't say I like her. I don't know her. But I can say I respect her for what she has accomplished. Good for her. Keep on living your best life, Taylor. What guitarist made you pick up the guitar? I had listened to Metallica and I wasn't too interested in picking up the guitar. And then I heard Pantera for the first time and I immediately wanted to play the guitar. And lucky for me, I had a Les Paul Jr. out in the garage with one string on it, but that one string was all I needed to be able to play Walk. James Hetfield, Kirk Hammett, Kerry King, Jimi Hendrix, and Eddie Van Halen made me play the guitar. A combo of Pantera, Metallica, Megadeth, and Black Sabbath. Then when I was in high school, my friend started a band and made me the bass player, so I started listening to Primus. A mix of Nirvana, Slipknot, and Linkin Park. They were the gateway for me to listen to much more rock and metal. Their live performances looked so much fun, it made me want to pick up a guitar. Kurt Cobain and Dimebag. Johnny Silverhand, and as bizarre as it sounds, it's true. So let me know you thought of episode 2 of What You Think. I'm really happy with how this turned out. The hardest thing for me with this is just thinking of the polls to do. So if you guys have any suggestions for polls, leave those in the comments. But yeah, thanks for watching, and until the next one... <laughs>